Welcome to Physics Learning Point. In this video, we are going to discuss critical angle and total internal reflection. Let's start the topic with the refraction of light. Light ray changes its direction at the interface separating the two media. Let us consider two media water and air. The surface of the water separating the two media. The speed of the light changes when light propagates from one medium to another medium. The process of changing speed at any interface when light travels from one medium to another resulting change in the direction of the light. This change of the direction is called refraction. If light ray enters from rarer medium to denser, then refracted ray moves towards the normal drawn at the interface of separation to media. When it travels from denser medium to rarer, it bends away from the normal. What happens if the angle of incidence increases when light travelling from denser to rarer medium? Here light ray bends much away from normal. If we increase the angle of incidence again and again, what happens? For a certain angle of incidence, the refracted ray passes along the interface separating air and water, which means angle of refraction is 90 degrees. Then this instant angle is called as critical angle. For a particular angle of incidence, the angle of refraction is equal to 90 degrees or the refracted light ray passes along the interface separating two medium. This incident angle is said to be critical angle. What happens if the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle? When the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, the light ray gets reflected again into same medium. At the interface, this phenomena is called total internal reflection. Few examples of total internal reflection. Mirages. How the mirages are formed? During hot summer day, air just above the earth is very hot and after that less warmer. As a result, density of air increases with height from the earth. Refractive index increases with density. Cooler air has greater refractive index than hotter air. The light traveling through the cooler or denser air to hotter or rarer air. It undergo total internal reflection. Hence, we feel the illusion of water being present on the road or surface of the earth and how the diamond is shining. The critical angle of diamond is very low due to higher refractive index. If a light ray enters a diamond, undergo multiple total internal reflections 
which makes the diamond shine how the optical fibers are working an optical fiber is very thin fiber made with glass or plastic because of small radius of the fiber light going into it incidence on the wall with greater than critical angle total internal reflection takes place the light transmitted along the fiber this is about critical angle and total internal reflection in next video we will discuss the formation of rainbow thank you